but there's undoubtedly a time when, when Antarctica was, was lush and green. The question is, was it lush and green during the lifetime of the human species? Yes. In the icy, spine-chilling continent of Antarctica, certain unsettling revelations have come to light. From shocking images of weird structures and strange lights to harrowing real-life experiences, many things about this planet just don't seem right. Adding to the enigma, famed journalist and researcher Graham Hancock shared a ground-shattering discovery about the planet, something even the scientific community never imagined. But Hancock's discovery comes with a dark revelation, telling us of something sinister lurking beneath the icy depths of Antarctica, and this has become a huge threat to the government and all of humanity. What shocking revelations have come to light about Antarctica? What groundbreaking discovery did Graham Hancock share about the icy continent? And what dangerously apocalyptic, dark things lurk beneath the Antarctic ice? For centuries, humanity has wondered whether we are alone in the universe. This one enigmatic puzzle has made experts in the astronomical community gaze at the skies and come to the vast reaches of the cosmos beyond our planet hoping to find alien bio-life forms. But a newfound theory from a renowned figure suggests such strange beuisings may not be so far away after all. In fact, they could be lurking right here on Earth, beneath the icy chambers of the Antarctic Ocean. As puzzling as this may sound, it's what famous researcher and journalist Graham Hancock believes to be the truth. He fears that there's a massive civilization, an underworld colony of unknown species deep beneath the unforgiving ice. According to him, this species has lived here for thousands of years. You may be wondering, how on earth have ancient species lived in a world of cold and ice? Well, it turns out that back then, Antarctica wasn't the icy wasteland we know it to be today. In fact, millions of years ago, it was a lovely, bubbling tropical wonderland. Graham Hancock is one of the major proponents of this enigmatic theory. According to him, Antarctica has changed over time and may have even repositioned itself from a temperate zone to a more freezing part of the planet. And though many facets of the scientific community are still in doubt over this theory, Hancock and his army of believers have presented several strong arguments and evidence. Many things seen and heard today seem to point out that Antarctica wasn't always what it is today, and in fact, there were beings inhabiting the planet. Graham Hancock's hypothesis draws strong backing from certain ancient historical evidence, like the Peary Race map. This enigmatic map of Antarctica was drawn in 1513 by Peary Race, and it reveals ancient knowledge that is not particularly seen in today's map. Hancock pointed out that these maps display a level of geographical detail that seems accurate with his theory, as they show a riverbank and some other details that present Antarctica a little different from the icy world it is today. Graham Hancock's ideas about Antarctica are quite captivating, weaving together a stunning narrative that cuts across time, culture, science, religion, and civilizations. Just in case you're not a fan of maps and hypotheses, there's a lot more to this study than meets the eye. In fact, this theory by Hancock cuts across myths, legends, archeological findings, religious texts, and more. Diverse clues exist in all these mirror facets of humanity that seem to suggest that there's truth to Hancock's words. One point that Hancock has stressed is the issue of the global cataclysm that may have brought about the end of the Ice Age and a shift in the Earth as we know it. Scientists have long hypothesized that a major cataclysm like a storm or a meteor impact must have struck the Earth, causing a global reset with unimaginable effects and changes. Evidence of this colossal cataclysm is in our knowledge of extinct creatures like dinosaurs and mammoths, which are believed to have existed some thousands of years ago. Diverse fossils have been found of these ancient creatures, proving that they once walked the Earth until something chaotic wiped them out. But what exactly? What planetary disaster could be so massive that it ended a whole race of giant beasts and other things? Although some theorists in the scientific community have proposed that a meteor blast could be responsible, the majority have stood with the flood theory. Once upon a time, around 12,000 years ago, a colossal flood broke out upon the Earth, burying everything and causing a massive shift in weather and climate. Perhaps it was during this disaster that Antarctica was transformed from a lush vegetative landscape to a high-rising sea of ice. 
Geologists have found tons of geologic evidence in this regard too, as certain geological formations and sedimentary rocks seem to have stacked up really fast, something that would most likely happen in the instance of a flood. They also found evidence of rapid displacements in rock strata, suggesting rapid flood erosion. Moreover, the never-ending sea of fossils discovered all around the world seems to suggest that a massive flood occurred, burying these biological creatures under rock and water. Not too surprisingly, there are many legends and tales of a great flood that swept the world. These shocking stories exist across different cultures and civilizations today, each with its unique version and variants, but with the consistent theme of a massive world-ending flood. The most popular depiction of this planetary aqua disaster is recorded in the Christian Bible. According to the Bible, a massive flood swept through the earth, destroying everything in its path so the world could begin afresh. It was an epic disaster, swallowing everything in one massive ocean of water. The salvation from that apocalyptic event was a colossal boat built by Noah, a man chosen by God to begin the human race anew. As the story goes, all dot was destroyed on the earth except Noah, his family, and the animals that had ventured into his life-saving boat. Could it be that the timeless fossils we find all over our planet today are from creatures that failed to make it into this ark? The question remains a riddle. However, perceptive journalists and investigators like Graham Hancock believe there's some truth to this legend. In fact, Hancock believes a lot more than that. He believes an ancient, powerful civilization existed that influenced humanity before the cataclysmic event came to wipe them off. Like many other researchers, Hancock believes that the devastating flood could have been the real reason behind this civilization's mysterious disappearance from the face of the earth. But what's even more puzzling is their disappearance from the historical records as well. Before the flood, this civilization, a race of unknown people from an unknown timeline, dispersed about the globe, spreading their advanced knowledge to other emerging cultures. Even after the flood, the remnants of this civilization went about influencing other emerging cultures, shaping their development. Scientists have long puzzled at the groundbreaking innovations of ancient cultures like ancient Egypt. From the mind-boggling pyramids to several other strange evidence of scientific and astronomical mastery, a lot of questions have been raised over discoveries from this ancient tribe. Much of these discoveries seem to suggest that ancient Egyptian civilization had partnered with some higher class beings. These beings must have helped them achieve the eye-opening feats they did when the rest of the world was barely trying to grasp the basics of life. Take the pyramids of Giza, for instance. These magnificent structures have long dazzled scientists and explorers. Even with our current technological prowess, building such humongous structures would require backbreaking work and cutting edge creativity. But how did the people of ancient Egypt manage to make these gigantic structures without access to 21st century technology or knowledge? The mystery becomes all the more compounding when you realize that the actual purposes these structures served are still unknown. Many theorists have suggested they have something to do with astronomical studies. Those specifics are still vague. But in the end, a large pool of researchers and scientists hold that these early civilizations like Sumeria, Babylonia, and ancient Egypt might have inherited advanced architectural techniques, astronomical knowledge, and possibly other lost crazy technologies in wisdom from strange beings beyond our world. Another widespread evidence of ancient civilizations is the Stonehenges found in several parts of the world. Experts within the scientific community have long proposed that these structures must have been used to study the stars and weather patterns, calculate time and date, and so on. But how this same mysterious construct managed to spread to different cultures and regions of the world is why scientists still can't wrap their heads around it. Was there a certain mysterious race of beings going from place to place, teaching ancient humans how to study the stars and map the cosmos? Some experts think this must be the case. Certainly it can't be a coincidence that these same architectural marvels exist in multiple locations across the seas and continents. And so the megalithic sites around the world are strong testimonies to advance ancient knowledge of architecture, engineering, and astronomy. The astronomical alignments of these structures are another marveling trait that suggests the extraordinary. 
For example, the Great Pyramids of Egypt have been found to align with Orion's belt, and many Stonehenge structures align with the solstices and equinoxes. These phenomenal relics tell a sophisticated understanding of the heavens, suggesting that the people who built them had a deep comprehension of celestial bodies and the cosmos. So what if the brains behind these creations are not from Earth, but from the stars beyond? For long, there have been tales of aliens and extraterrestrial beings lurking somewhere out there in our universe. The mind-shattering mysteries in those ancient civilizations caused scientists to stop and think of the possibility. Aliens and strange races of super-advanced beings may have, indeed, been inhabiting the planet with us and may be as old as time itself. The widespread knowledge and evidence of similar architectural and astronomical insights among various ancient cultures point toward a unanimous source of advanced knowledge. Probably, this singular advanced race of beings laid the foundation upon which later civilizations built their own. Now, all this may seem ambiguous since there is not much evidence of the existence of such advanced races. However, some experts suggest that such an advanced civilization must have dwelt in Antarctica before the Great Cataclysm. If that's the case, then there's a high probability all the evidence we could ever need of this ancient advanced civilization is buried right there beneath the ice. About 12,000 years ago, the Earth's climate was very different from what it is now. As at the time of the continental drift, Antarctica was gradually shifting to its present isolated position on the map, while continents like Australia and South America were drifting away. Experts have also concluded that Antarctica was devoid of the extensive ice sheet it possesses today. Experts also suggest that it wasn't until much later, after the Ice Age, that the formation of the Antarctic Circumpolar took place towards the end of the Eocene, circling Antarctica and playing a vital role in the thermal isolation of the continent. Thanks to this, only extremely cold water was circulated around Antarctica, thereby establishing a climatic barrier that led to the cooling and eventual glaciation of Antarctica. This is how the extreme, bone-chilling, freezing, no-man's land Antarctica of today was born. Just in case you're puzzled, fossil evidence has proven that Antarctica was once a vast tropical land with forests, beaches, and every other thing. Fossils of plants and pollen have been discovered, hinting at the wide range of flora the continent supported. There was also a rich and diverse marine ecosystem in this region, far different from the current Antarctic marine life. The period in which Antarctica underwent severe transformation is referred to as the Eocene Epoch. It's a captivating chapter in the Earth's history during which dramatic climatic shifts and significant transformations took place. This period spanned from about 56 to 34 million years ago. It was during this period that the mammals took over the stage after the dinosaurs exited the scene. And so species distribution was altered and the development of new ecosystems was greatly facilitated. And in the ever-changing nature of Earth, Antarctica has evolved since then to become an enigmatic ice wonderland full of mysteries. The fact that you can't access the interior of this mini ice planet is just intriguing. Scientists and scholars have long speculated what could be lurking beneath the ice in this region. The never-ending fascination and interest in this region has spurred several expeditions from research explorers, as well as a whole bunch of conspiracy theories from skeptics and curious individuals. For some, there may be a secret world beneath Antarctica, but for others, there may be an even darker secret, a government base or top secret program that is being concealed from the rest of the world. In recent years, billionaires like Elon Musk, as well as other renowned bodies of scientific research, have launched expeditions to explore the depths of the Antarctic. These operations seek to reveal the secrets that lie hidden beneath the unforgiving ice. And so far, so good. Recent expeditions have shown the existence of abundant bio life forms in the deep ocean beneath the ice. Scientists were, of course, baffled that these tiny crustaceans and other aquatic life could survive in the heart-wrenching cold thousands of feet below the surface. The discovery was monumental and took the scientific community by storm. It opened our eyes to the possibility of complex bio life forms inhabiting these enchanting depths. In other words, there could be a lot more than tiny creatures down there. In fact, there could be an entire world or civilization. Several theories have been popping up over the years as to what's lurking beneath Antarctica's depths. Initially, experts had assumed the continent was far too cold for anything to survive in its ice depths. 
But with this new discovery, everything changed. Perhaps rumors and speculations of a thriving civilization down there may be true, and maybe even elusive ancient kingdoms like Atlantis may still exist under the enchanting miles of ice. Certain ancient maps, for example, those drawn in the 1500s, showed astonishingly great details, revealing parts of Antarctica that we don't see in our maps today. These maps, in addition to the various anomalies and unexplained findings spotted in Antarctica, strongly propose that there's more to this region than meets the eye. Many mind-boggling phenomena spotted in the vast region of Antarctica have led to beliefs in the existence of remnants of ancient civilizations or even worse aliens in this region. Certain shocking footage of strange lights in the region has surfaced online on several occasions. And satellite images have also sometimes revealed certain patterns and structures that defy explanation. Most of these occurrences are so bizarre that even the brightest minds on the planet cannot fathom them. In the end, these paranormal events suggest that alien activity or something even more sinister may be at play in the icy world of Antarctica. However, beyond aliens and powerful supernatural forces, many members of the public and research experts have pointed accusing fingers at the government, suggesting their involvement in the uncanny events going on in Antarctica. For these sets of people, many of the so-called expeditions to the planet are actually a cover for top secret missions by the government. These sinister missions could be about establishing secret bases or making contact with extraterrestrial beings or technology. Several rumors of such government missions have popped up over the years, and many whistleblowers have sounded alarms in this regard too. All of this has led to an upsurge in conspiracy theories over what might really lie buried in the Antarctic ice. Could there be a secret race of aliens there? A top government research lab like Area 51? Or could it be something even worse than our wildest imaginations? One story that has been greatly used and twisted by conspiracy theorists is Operation High Jump, an expedition led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd from 1946 to 1947. This U.S. Navy operation was aimed at establishing research bases in the Antarctic. You may be wondering why anyone would risk going to this no man's land. Well, it turns out the reasons are far more unsettling than you'd imagine. You see, apart from the fact that Antarctica is a magnificent wonderland cloaked in mystery that many would love to explore, this mission had an ulterior motive. Many believe it was actually a covert mission to investigate suspected alien bases and ancient ruins tucked away in the ice. And adding to the enigma, something shocking happened in the course of this all-important mission, something that would completely blow your mind. Project High Jump was a true climax in the history of exploration. It was a perfect combination of military precision and scientific curiosity. Under the watchful eye of the invincible Admiral Richard E. Byrd, it was a mission set to shake the world. Venturing into the unknown, this fearless team of daredevils stepped into the icy wasteland to explore, based on a hunch by the U.S. government, that something strange was going on with Antarctica. This adventure was no joke. A giant fleet was assembled, incorporating scientists, engineers, soldiers, and all other necessary experts. What started as an impossible project ended up being a fantastic achievement. Today, a series of bases have been established, serving as a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. A prime example is the Little America 4, a base located strategically on the Ross Ice Shelf near the Bay of Wales. This base boasts several earth-shattering amenities. It is a fully equipped research center with next-generation laboratories, a shelter with living quarters and storage units, and so much more. Everything in this facility was built to last and endure the extreme cold. It slowly became the epicenter of several operations facilitating groundbreaking research in meteorology, geology, and glaciology. Multiple aerial and ground surveys have been launched from this zone, enhancing our understanding of Antarctica. However, while all this may be possible today, the story was a lot different decades ago when the Project High Jump mission first started. In fact, back then, it was a living nightmare, a horror scene that left everyone in shock. In the early days of the high jump expedition, nothing was certain. These brave soldiers had simply been equipped and trained to survive and navigate the icy waters of Antarctica to fulfill the mission. But no amount of training or military drill could prepare them 
for the harrowing experiences that awaited this enigmatic ice wonderland. Multiple whistleblowers have told tales of intriguing diary entries and interviews where Admiral Richard E. Byrd spoke of encounters with strange, incredibly fast-flying objects. These objects seem to shatter the laws of physics, hinting at something unnatural or even extraterrestrial in origin. In fact, multiple evidence and reports point that these expeditions might have uncovered evidence of alien existence. The harrowing encounters these men had suggested the presence of ancient advanced technology or a sinister race of extraterrestrials hidden beneath the ice. But guess what? These guys aren't the only ones. Several narratives and claims from whistleblowers and individuals who have had the opportunity to enter this enigmatic wonderland have also recounted that some low frequency stuff is going on here. You know, one witness even talked about how the government may have made deals with people and things from beyond our world by building these massive underground facilities and advanced technology. The diverse accounts of spine-chilling encounters with strange, unexplainable phenomena, bizarre energy sources, and spacecraft with designs and capabilities out of this world are just mind-boggling. What is truly going on in Antarctica? And what possible ties does the government have with this region? One of the most shocking stories from Antarctica that experts are still trying to wrap their heads around is the fate of the brave men who embarked on the high jump project. All of the people who embarked on that mission mysteriously disappeared. It's like they were wiped away from existence with no trace of their whereabouts. The missing 411 case sent shockwaves throughout the scientific and military community and multiple allegations have been made against the government over the issue. Several fingers have also been pointed at the government over the years, accusing them of attempting to silence whistleblowers or erase these stories. There have also been reports of the U.S. government restricting access to certain Antarctic regions. All of this begs the question, could there be a secret cover-up over the Antarctic? The mystery seems even more compounding, given the uncountable top-secret missions that are allegedly conducted here year after year. Right now, there are conspiracy theories that Antarctica might be a secret hub for secret space or alien-related programs and activities. These activities are so dark and evil that they must be carried deep within the Antarctic abyss, completely hidden from the public. Some even say a dark collaboration between humanity and aliens is well underway in this isolated part of the Earth, and the experiments that go on here are spine-chilling. What makes Antarctica so appealing for these dark, secretive activities is the extreme remoteness of the continent, coupled with the harsh climate. You'd literally die if you stepped foot in Antarctica unprepared. It's a mystique in itself and currently the Earth's last unexplored frontier. So it's easy to see why the government would make this place the home base for anything dark and controversial. Of course, these are all speculations and theories with no substantial evidence. But then there are instances in the past where the government has been known to go the extra mile to bury evidence of such controversial activities or discoveries. You see, several mind-blowing theories and stories from whistleblowers have revealed that Antarctica isn't just a frozen wilderness, but a treasure trove of mystical artifacts and untapped ancient technology. Much of these hidden treasures are said to be outer-worldly, terrific extraterrestrial technology with capabilities that would blow your mind. Billionaires and world leaders in their quest for next-level technology are funding expeditions into this frozen wonderland to unmask the secrets hidden beneath the ice. There's no telling what unfathomable dimensions of ancient alien technology may be lying dormant under the vast ice sheets of Antarctica. From artifacts to machinery and UFO or alien remains, the possibilities are endless. Finding forsaken technology or lost secrets from civilizations beyond our world could revolutionize our modern day science and technology. These objects and many more could be hidden in Antarctica, waiting for the lucky persons who'd weather the stormy ice winds and dig deep enough to unearth them. And so it's understandable why governments and some of the elites in society would be so interested in Antarctica. However, there's another sinister reason that has been recently voiced by many people, including experts like Graham Hancock. This belief holds that the government and these other renowned elites are involved in the construction of secret underground bases in Antarctica. Now, we're not talking of everything from secret luxurious bunkers and hideouts for billionaires to chill in the ice 
to state-of-the-art laboratories for otherworldly experiments. These structures are unbelievably fortified to withstand not just the cold, but any mishap or planetary disaster that may ensue. They're also equipped with everything needed for self-sufficiency, from food to water and air supply. All of these are done in secrecy, away from the eyes of international agencies and the public. As unbelievably shocking as all this may sound, there are some truths to it. The high jump expedition occurred several decades ago, and since then, the aftermath of it has remained a riddle. About 4,700 military personnel were dispatched after undergoing rigorous training to adapt to the harsh polar environment. From specialized clothing to heating systems and proper care, these guys had everything they needed. But yet, they met an untimely demise, vanishing from the face of the earth without a trace. The whole situation was quite perplexing, but we all knew this wouldn't be the last of Antarctic expeditions. Though the high jump operation marked the first major use of helicopters and aircraft in Antarctica, it laid the groundwork for more extreme expeditions. Today, the world is still asking riddling questions, such as how many expeditions have been carried out in Antarctica so far? And just what has the government and other parties involved benefited from these secret endeavors? The answers remain unknown, but as one whistleblower said, this might just be a mystical or even spiritual war, and these people are working with dark entities beyond human comprehension. Ever since these ambiguous expeditions began, many shocking revelations have emerged concerning Antarctica. For example, certain mysterious pyramid-like formations have been spotted in satellite images and photographs of the continent. These structures bear a striking resemblance to the pyramids of Egypt and Mexico, and some of the structures are rumored to be spotted on the dark side of the moon. The oddities in their appearance and symmetrical geometries suggest they weren't formed naturally at all. Speculations are running wild over these enigmas. Perhaps they're the remnants of ancient extraterrestrial civilizations, or perhaps they are alien energy transmitters or navigational aids for UFOs. Some members of the scientific community even speculate that Antarctica could be concealing an entrance to the center of the Earth. The ice continent may just be the gateway to certain subterranean worlds, possibly inhabited by advanced civilizations or alien species. There's no end to the mystery and enigma, and so far we've barely even scratched the surface of Antarctica. With speculations running wild and conspiracy theorists on a rampage, there's no telling when the Antarctic conundrum will finally come to an end. However, we can at least agree that there's a lot of weird and secret stuff going on in this ice world. For now, we can at least rely on expert investigators and researchers like Hancock to shine a light on the dark continent. With time, more secrets will be unveiled, and the puzzle may be finally solved. Graham Hancock is one seasoned expert who has shown great interest in cracking the Antarctic code. His profound insight has been applauded by many in the scientific community and the general public. For all we know, this man may be right, and all his stories about ancient civilizations, cataclysmic events in the prior state of Antarctica before the flood may be true. However, it will take more than just insight to add flesh to these theories. Until sufficient data and evidence are provided to the public, the world might never know what truly lies hidden in Antarctica. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.